and I think it was one of our best um, team efforts, team wins of the year. Uh, you know, in terms of the keys to victory, I think everything starts with our defense, and we, we've been sort of continuing that trend, and we really um, made Northridge's life a little bit tough on the defensive end. On the offensive end, I thought it was key early that um, Emily and Megan Williams made shots. You know, that's what they do for us, but because they came out and shot the ball really well, there wasn't a huge amount of pressure on somebody else to really pick up the scoring load. And then, of course, uh, Sweets Underwood was tremendous. Uh, actually, Sweets and Megan Critcher together did a great job on, on Northridge's very effective post player. Um, Jasmine Irving and then Sweets obviously came up with a double-double and, and uh, picked a, a really good night to go perfect from the field and, and probably have our best game as a gotcha. Uh, looking forward to Saturday. What are you guys expecting from Cal Poly? And are you treating this like a postseason game? I, I think... Uh, it's going to be a great day on Saturday for a lot of different reasons. Uh, getting down to the end of end of the year, uh, and, and it's a rivalry game. And on top of that, um, Cal Poly is in first place, and so um, it's a big challenge for us with them stepping in here. Um, and then obviously you always want to play well and honor your seniors on, on their senior nights. So I think it will have the feel of a postseason type game um, with all the atmosphere and stuff going on. Obviously, the way we approach it from a coaching staff perspective is. Get our players prepared like any other game, and we need to um, have our defensive strategies down and really be as sharp as we can on offense. And then hopefully, you know, the emotion of the day in a positive way will give us a little bit of an extra lift. Talk about the emotion. You're graduating five seniors, and you've got an event, Souls for Souls, going on. Uh, can you talk a little bit about the event on uh, on Saturday? Right. So, um, you know, part of this program, I think, which really makes us unique and, and sets us apart is our involvement in the community. And that was something that I think Mark French really put um, his mark on and, and made it uh, synonymous with Gaucho Women's Basketball and something that, that I've really wanted to embrace and continue. Um, and we do a lot of different things to give back to the community. This particular uh, event, I think, is really special to our players and our coaching staff. Uh, Angela Aguirre, who's one of our red shirts, is, is really interested, I think, in humanitarian work. Work. She's, she's pretty special, as are the rest of our players, and, and Jada Williams really took this on with her, mm -hmm. trying to say, what can we do uh, uh, to bring help and, and uh, awareness to the, uh, the suffering in Haiti? And so we thought a natural um, uh, link would be um, shoes. You know, there's a big need for sneakers and all kinds of shoes um, for the, the people in Haiti, um, and there's a, a group or a program called Souls for Souls, which... Uh, collects shoes and gives them to, to people in need, and obviously there's a big need in Haiti. So we're collecting um, sneakers, lightly worn and new, sneakers and all kinds of shoes at the game. We'll make sure that they get uh, over to the people in Haiti, and our coaching staff is going to coach in sneakers to bring awareness uh, uh, to the, the cause, and, and we're going to donate uh, our own sneakers as well. So hopefully uh, that'll be a, a rallying point for our fans and something we can all get into. Mm -hmm.